Hi guys, welcome back to Lost My Library. My name is Kate. Today I'm doing an ARC review over Blue Light of the Screen on Horror, Ghost, and God by Claire Cronin. And I did receive this from NetGalley. Um, so thank you to the publisher, which is Repeater. Thank you, Repeater, for giving me a copy of this book. What did I think of this book? I ended up giving it three stars. Three stars. Um, it's kind of just mediocre. Would I necessarily tell you to go out and buy this? Not really, unless there's a deal. Um, maybe get it on Kindle. Um, this book is not what I thought it was going to be. I initially had thought that this was going to be sort of just this non-fiction book about horror movies. And I love horror movies. I wanted something about horror movies in it. Um, which there are a lot of horror movies, but the focus really isn't on horror movies. I do appreciate the a lot of the research that was done. There was obviously quite a bit of research done for this book. And she did cite all of her sources. So now I can go back and as a good human person writing books, writing things, you cite your sources. So now I'm, I'm glad that I have a ton of these sources that have are interesting to me that sound very interesting. It just kind of seems dry, the book. Um, it's really a, as she describes it, it's like a, her life story up to that point with horror movies, kind of. And you're like, oh, that kind of sounds interesting. It's really not focused a lot on horror movies <laughs> as much as um, this is her life story. These are some things that happened in her life and then she just kind of looks at religion and what religion thinks about certain aspects like ghosts um and gives her two cents about it um there's a lot and when it says it talks about god in the the title it talks there's a lot of religious talk so if you're not a fan of that this isn't for you as well. Um, I was I was really hoping that I was gonna find another a good nonfiction book about horror movies. Um, this is not that, and I'm sad to say that. Um, I did just give it three stars. It's kind of just mediocre and kind of bland. Also, trigger warning because she does mention uh, suicidal tendencies. She had suicidal thoughts, so trigger warning for that in the book. Um, trying to think of, I talk about religious, religion a lot. Um, and that's the only things that really are coming to mind. Um, if you don't like horror movies, um, I guess there really isn't any reason for you to read this book because this is supposed to be about horror movies, but. There is a little bit talk of horror movies, so if you don't like horror movies, this really isn't for you either, because I don't see any other aspect of why you should want to try and pick this up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is going to be a quick one, because I don't really have a lot of thoughts. I just thought this was mediocre, kind of bland. Um, ended up being a really low three star. Sorry, um, I hate that because this is a lot about her life story. It's just, oh, girl, girl, you can spice it up a little bit. I don't know, like make it a little bit more interesting. But, and even then it's kind of hard to follow a little bit. It's kind of a little bit all over the place. I wish there was a little bit more cohesiveness to the book itself there's not really much cohesiveness to it um yeah so three stars it mentions horror movies and that's about it so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed this video more than i enjoyed this book 
Uh, this is a quick review. I thank you guys for watching. Go be a good cabbage today. I will see you in my next video. I love you. Go do something good for somebody, even if it is for yourself. Bye.